Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is October 30th, 2023. And I have a message for you, a very important message and a very important understanding. And I wanted to... I was divided on whether I should start here and talk to you about the two shakings in Haggai chapter 2 or should I start here and connect everything that happened with Matthew Perry and how it's connected to Julia Roberts and December 8th when we see that this movie Leave the World Behind is going to be on net Netflix on December 8th. And I want to share with you about this. Uh, this movie is already been released in uh, Europe, I think, October 25th. It's going to be in select theaters starting the weekend of Thanksgiving. November 22nd but the main date here that's shown on the poster is December 8th this happens to be Hanukkah December 8th but when I saw not only the date of this but the participation of Julia Roberts I couldn't help but see that there's a connection to everything that happened with the death of Matthew Perry and his previous relationship to Julia Roberts. Okay, so let's look at this information first and then we're going to go to the scripture. I'm going to show you the two shakings. One shaking we've already seen exactly as written in Haggai chapter 2. But there are two shakings, there are two dates for two shakings, and the first shaking has already taken place exactly on the day given to us in Haggai chapter 2. So now we need to wait for the second day, the second shaking, and that is what we're going to be watching uh, now. Okay, so we look at this movie, Leave the World Behind, it's going to be on Netflix on December 8th. Matthew Perry died on October 28th and Matthew Perry at one point not only was Julia Roberts in the movie or in the sitcom Friends uh, for a few episodes but he actually dated Julia Roberts back in 1996 and it's quite interesting that Julie Roberts' birthday is October 28th. Okay. Now, a lot of this information, most of this information came from this video. Amazing video. If you guys want to check out this decode, the Matthew Perry Eclipse Ritual, the Donut Factory. This is an amazing video. This brought out so much information and really, really incredible information. And a lot of this really, really sparked uh, me to see things that I was overlooking, uh, things that we already knew, things that we have already seen biblically, but things that we were overlooking at this time. And this really brought a lot of that to light. And so... If you guys want to check this out, I'll leave the link for you because this video really sparked a lot of things uh, connected to Matthew Perry and connected to the Eclipse Ritual, October 28th. Everything else we were already watching on October 28th and why all this happened on October 28th. And you're going to see a few of the details. But there's so much more. There's so much more, and you can see that all here on this video uh, on the Donut Factory. 
Okay, so Matthew Perry died on uh, October 28th. And he dated Julia Roberts, and Julia Roberts was in a few episodes of Friends, and her birthday is October 28th. Okay? And there's another interesting detail about, as we're watching October 28th, and all of this that happened, and then December 8th, is that they both have a code of 128. 1028 is 128, and December 8th is also 128. Okay? So there's a connection between Matthew Perry and Julia Roberts. Then this movie is coming out on December 8th, and Julia Roberts is in it. Okay, now Matthew Perry died on the day of a lunar eclipse, October 28th, 2023. His last Instagram post was him in a hot tub under a full moon, calling himself the Mat Man. And then he ended up dying in the hot tub under a full moon on the day of the lunar eclipse. Why is this day important? And how is this connected? And how can we know this is a huge ritual? Because Chandler Bing, the character of Matthew Perry on Friends, his birthday is April 8th. April 8th. And the next eclipse is going to be the eclipse over America on April 8th. A huge ritual taking place here. And I wanted to share all of that. But I saw this piece of information about Julia Roberts. Leave the world behind, December 8th. Okay. This is Hanukkah. Midweek Hanukkah is the new moon in Ophiuchus. Midweek Hanukkah. And Hanukkah runs from December 7th or December 8th to December 15th or December 16th, depending if you're watching the Hebrew calendar or the Torah calendar. Now let's get into the scripture. And I want to show you the two shakings from Haggai chapter 2. Haggai chapter, chapter 2 shows us two shakings. In the seventh month, in the one and twentieth day of the month, came the word of the Lord by the prophet Haggai, saying, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. And as I was reading this, and I remembered the attack that happened by Hamas on Israel, and then the response of Israel to Hamas and to Gaza, the, the, the speech or the, uh, the talk was by land, sea, and air. By land, sea, and air. Okay. Israeli forces ready for air, sea, land assault. Okay. And so the shaking in the seventh month on the 21st day of the month. In a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. Then exactly on the seventh day of tabernacles, the 21st day of the seventh month, was the attack on Israel, which Israel called their own 9-11. 
Okay, so this is the shaking of the heavens and the earth has begun. This is the first shaking. This is not the complete shaking. This is not the final shaking. This is part of a process of two shakings and the first shaking took place exactly on the day that is given to us in Haggai chapter 2. In the seventh month, in the one and twentieth day of the month, came the word of the Lord by the prophet Haggai, saying, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yet once it, in a little, it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. And on the seventh day of tabernacles, the twenty-first day of the seventh month, Israel was attacked. Israel's 9-11 and the war in Israel, the war in the Middle East, and quite possibly World War III, which will lead to Armageddon, has begun. Now let us consider the second shaking. Haggai chapter 2, in the 4 and 20th day of the ninth month, in the second year of Darius came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet, saying, And again the word of the Lord came unto Haggai in the twenty-fourth day of the month, saying, Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth, and I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen, and I will overthrow the chariots, and those that ride in them, and the horses and their riders shall come down, every one by the sword of his brother. This is the second shaking in Haggai chapter 2. It will happen on the 4 and 20th day of the ninth month. On the Hebrew calendar, it would be December 7th. But on the Torah calendar, it is December 8th. Anywhere from December 7th and December 8th to December 15th through December 16th, we have the timing of Hanukkah. The book of Haggai is one that is noted for its exactly dated prophecies. Specifically, its last two prophecies are given on and revolve around the 24th day of the ninth month, a day known simply as Kislev 24. Kislev falls during the months of November and December on the Gregorian calendar near the beginning of winter. This date, Kislev 24, is easy to calculate because it is always the day before the Jews celebrate Hanukkah. Historically, this date has been highly significant on a number of occasions. It was on Kislev 24 that the temple was freed from the grasp of Antiochus Epiphanes. The cleansing of the temple, desecrated by Antiochus, began that evening, which, since it was after sunset, was technically Kislev 25. This historical event constitutes the origin of Hanukkah. A lesser known fact is that it was also on Kislev 24 in 1917, during World War I, that British troops liberated Jerusalem from the Ottoman Empire. Just as the temple was destroyed on the same date, of nine on two different occasions, hundreds of years apart, so also the temple has been liberated from foreign hands on the same date, Kislev 24. Because Kislev 24 has been highly momentous in the history of Jerusalem and the temple, the appearance of the date in Haggai may be significant again, especially considering the dualities of these prophecies. So just as we have already seen on the 21st day of the seventh month, Israel being attacked by Gaza on the 21st day of the seventh month, now we have a prophecy coming to the 24th day of the ninth month, and this would be pointing us to Hanukkah for the second shaking. And I would say right at the beginning of Hanukkah, or we would watch through the entire timing of Hanukkah through the entire week 
So we have a very important time that we need to watch, which is connected to the second shaking. The first shaking has already come on the exact day. Now we wait for the second shaking on the exact day. Now I want to show you some interesting details about the 1,335 days connected to both of these dates. The World Health Organiza Organization announced COVID-19 as the name of this new disease on February 11th. COVID-19 received its name on February 11th, 2020. 1,335 days from the naming of COVID-19, February 11th, to Saturday, October 7th, 2023. The seventh day of tabernacles and Israel was attacked. Now, if we go to the U.S. churches and world churches being closed on Easter for the first time since the time of Christ, April 12th, Resurrection Sunday, April 12th, 2020. As local governments prohibit large gatherings, churches turn to streaming services and drive-in movie theaters. U.S. churches confront cor coronavirus restrictions for Resurrection Sunday. From Resurrection Sunday, April 12th, 2020 to December 8th, 2023 is 1,335 days, the 24th day of the ninth month. Now, in the book of Haggai, this day is called blessed. From this day... I will bless you. Is the seed yet in the barn? Yea, as yet the vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree hath not brought forth from this day will I bless you. Is the 24th day of the ninth month a day that is blessed according to Haggai chapter 2 and Day 1,335 is also a day that is considered blessed. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the 1,305 and 30 days. Both texts say that whoever arrives to this day, from this day, I will bless you. Blessed is he that comes to this day. Okay? Okay. So this is the day that is connected to Haggai chapter 2. From this day forward, I will bless you. And it's also 1,335 days from the sacrifices being canceled. The abomination was set up starting in February, going into March but the sacrifices were not canceled until Resurrection Sunday, when all the churches were closed for the first time since the time of Christ. From that day, blessed is he who waits and comes to the 1,335 days, April 12, 2020, Resurrection Sunday, to December 8, 2023, 1,300 and 35 days. October 28th, a partial lunar eclipse at midnight over Jerusalem. Israel begins its ground war under this lunar eclipse. Joe Biden 
sent Congress war powers notification over this weekend of this lunar eclipse. Major war measure immediately follows. And President Erdogan of Turkey threatens to declare war on Israel and send military to Gaza in chilling warning. And this also happened to be the 100 year anniversary of modern day Turkey. What else happened on the day of the lunar eclipse? This article came out that samples from Noah's Ark in Turkey reveal human activity dating back to biblical era. And these articles came out on October 28th. This also got me thinking about how this could possibly be connected to what we're watching on Hanukkah. Is this the sign between Matthew Perry's drowning and the information and the notification about Noah's Ark in the news again on the day of the lunar eclipse on October 28th? And from October 28th to the first day of Hanukkah is 40 days. So the, here's our 40 day connection to Noah's Ark leading us to Hanukkah. And this is also the anniversary of Pearl Harbor, a day which will live in infamy. So leave the world behind December 8th connected to the beginning of Hanukkah and the entire week of Hanukkah. Now, as we remember that Hanukkah was connected to the original abomination of desolation committed by Antiochus Epiphanes. Now let us read a portion of Matthew chapter 24 and remember that what Jesus shared with us is connected to the abomination of desolation that happened in winter during the time of Antiochus Epiphanes and points us directly to the timing of Hanukkah. Matthew chapter 24. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house, neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. 